Do you want to go ahead and go into Roblox Studio on mobile? If the answer is yes and you've read the title, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to go ahead and do this. So watch till the end of the video as you don't want to skip a second. So right now we're on Roblox on my mobile here. And yeah, we're beginning right now. If you don't want to do it, then, you know, click off right now if you don't want a viral game. If you want a viral game and you want to learn something new today, keep watching till the end. Anyways, let's go ahead and begin with step number one of this video is i'm not a time waster i want to provide as much value as possible i don't want to waste your time so let's go ahead and begin so step number one starting off is you want to go to your browser okay now this could be a safari chrome google it doesn't matter okay because if you go on it on the app as you can see if you click create it doesn't actually let you do anything as you can see there's no button there's nothing to create anything with so you actually need to go to your browser so step number one go to your browser then what you want to do is continue on roblox and then there's gonna be a capital letter a and lowercase a you want to click this and then click on desktop mode right here and all you want to do after you do that is simply go ahead and click on a button called uh create on the top there and over here is going to be the desktop version of roblox as you've requested the desktop version and now you could go ahead and manage your experience you could change the title change it from private to public and basically do a bunch of things in here that you weren't able to do beforehand and you could check your revenue you could buy advertisements in your roblox game you can monetize your roblox game this doesn't this is like new features as well with like how you could put ads in your roblox game and earn robux while users are seeing the ads it's a dope amount of things right there's so many things in roblox right now it's the best time to create and publish roblox games i mean dude the best time is now okay it's always that like you know people tell me is roblox games dead no bro it's never dead it's <laughs> what like you think people aren't playing roblox anymore are you crazy you know how much three hours people spend in roblox you know how much value there is on roblox it's insane it's like the most slept on opportunity i think i swear I think it's like the most one of the most slept on opportunities is creating Roblox games and learning how to create Roblox games or buying Roblox games and making money off that because I promise you barely anyone does it right and it's so popular it's so good it, depending on your skill level though right you need to make sure you're good and now you're probably like well how do i practice my skills then simply type up studio light in Roblox uh games section and yeah this is like a game where it's going to let you kind of use roblox studio and practice here now we all know obviously right on mobile you could do very limited things you can't do everything that's because one thing i'm on this channel right i'm not a liar i'm honest i'm not here to trick you you know i think tricks and you know this stuff it really is it's for fools right you like you're only fooling yourself you can't fool people you can't lie to people people aren't stupid right so i'm not gonna lie to you right because I see everyone as a human being, right? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and pretend that, you know, you could go ahead and, you know, edit things. Like, you go on, like, um, what was it? You could use a toolbox and stuff like that on mobile, right? Because you can't do that. But, right, as you can see, we're on Studio Lite. And, you know, you get to practice on mobile. You get to change your titles and descriptions. You get to check your revenue. You basically get to do all the basic stuff. But you can't actually go ahead and you know uh edit the map itself like you could spawn a game you could create a game but you can't actually edit the content in the game on mobile but you could practice on mobile you could practice making games for the future you could also do the tags uh the title check the revenue uh the monetization create shirts create pants all the things i just listed you could do that you could also i'm pretty sure do uh ugc editing in terms of like you know creating the ug seeds on mobile and stuff like that on some of these apps so like there's a lot of things you could do right like it's not just okay but you know nothing's possible on mobile because a lot of things are actually possible on mobile uh you guys just need to take advantage of those right learn how to do tests learn how to on roblox studio create pants shirt learn how to tag and title your game properly learn how to create thumbnails on mobile for your roblox game you could do that so pretty much you do 50 percent of it the other 50 percent, which is the game itself if you don't have a uh uh um if you don't have a pc right what you want to do uh is go ahead and you know 
go ahead and go to a library or something like that and you want to just use their computer that's what i recommend that's what i used to do by the way my first hits of games right uh i simply went to the library and that those were actually very popular games and i i just created it in the library when i was like 12 and i didn't have a computer and i was like okay i want to create roblox games i don't have a computer i don't have a wi-fi box at home what do i do okay boom go to the library done and create amazing roblox games and I was st my games were still more creative and better than most of these big developers could ever you know dream actually no i take that back probably not nah it wasn't that good it was kind of yeah but but listen if i fixed it up and knowing what i know now about games and if i tried that now obviously it'll be way better right okay i take that statement back it wasn't that great i'm not gonna lie but it was it was good for a 12 year old it was you know basically if these developers are like 20 24 25 right you know if they'll dream of being that great at developing that for 12 years old that was pretty good but right now looking back right obviously now that i've grown and i've got knowledge you know obviously but that's the thing right you don't start big guys you start small and you learn and you learn and you learn and you learn but my games were overall was like sword fight games so i had the creativity in mind right i had the creativity the execution was pretty bad but you know sword fight games always do good it's a niche that always does good i still like sword fight games and you know i could have done it properly right now i could do it properly actually i'm probably gonna start some sword fight games because that's the sort of uh games i'm into the sort of games i like so yeah i i like basic games you know a lot of people you guys like your brookhaven brookhaven is so basic game actually well a lot of you guys like your dot means and stuff right like uh, those are cool whatever right but i i like these obbies i like these uh not even obbies actually i don't even like obbies that much but i i like the sword fight games i like these classic sword fight games a lot of you guys are liking these graphical you know graphics story stars, mode make sure you watch until the end of the video as i'm gonna be hiding codes throughout this video also i always like to give back to my people my subscribers my community just like subscribe comment down below your roblox username and how much robux you actually want or desire anyways watch till the end also share this video i'm gonna be seeing you know who can get to more people and if your friends actually go ahead and do it as well then you actually go ahead and get a three times high chance definitely share this video as well